Welcome to New Annuals, where we have to use an item, the Wake Dust. And once we do this, a tornado occurs and the whole place blows down. People turn into seals, or they wake up, one or the other. Hey, you. Don't yawn at me, that's just rude. How dare you. Hey, there's a path going in here. Cool. Hey, you. I have a good idea. If you And if you would have guessed rotted uh, at the bottom of a lake, you'd be right. <laughs> Dumbasses. Oh, well. I don't know. Maybe because you were. Haha, <laughs> just joking. No one can sleep for years. That's ridiculous. Jeez, she really doesn't trust the men of her town. My goodness. Hey, what's going on, baby? Ortega's left. Ortega was here? Oh, my. Yesterday, but they've been asleep for years, so... Oh. That's sad. They had my hopes up for a second I'd find my father. <sighs> That's sad that the, that the game designers would do that. But pretty neat at the same time. Yep. Ashalam. <laughs> nah, nah, dude. Seriously, get over that. That's not what happened. East of Romilly. Cool. So now we know where we're going. And let's steal the man's kilt while we're at it, because that's a real womanly thing to do, I guess? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes. Damn it, I don't want to be an NPC. I want to be my own person, damn it. Oh. Hey, I think there was a shop up here. I meant to check this shop. Hey, you. What do you got? Ooh, a steel sword. That's a nice piece of weaponry. Definitely something to get for Brian. Nothing for that. Evade cloaks are excellent. Not so much for Brad. But that'd be a great thing for Fate to get, which I can't quite afford. With our business done here, it's time to head back to Romilly. So we get our way to Ashalom. Alright, so to get to Ashalom, you go along the coast this way. And the enemies will be pretty weak to start, but that'll change. Ho ho, let me tell you, that's going to change when you cross this bridge and get going. Yeah. So, here's the, here's the enemy that I was talking about in a previous video that you're going to look at and go, wow. Akira didn't try very hard when he was thinking up the enemy designs. You tell me, anyone who's ever watched Dragon Ball, what do those guys sl even slightly resemble? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, come on. Seriously. Just take a guess. Oh, and did I mention that they're super strong? And they're jerks? Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. You're pretty smart. Continuing on, though, we'll see what else crazy monsters we're going to run into. Oh, cat flies. You are not that threatening. There's got to be a town around here somewhere. But where is it? Well, we found a desert, but no town. Interesting. Maybe we missed it. Maybe we should backtrack. But first we gotta worry about a flame peed, which spits out fire that hits everybody. Not a nice foe to run into, needless to say. Like so. Everyone's gonna take about 10 damage. Becomes more of an irritant than anything later, but right now that's not a nice enemy to be running into. Gotta be careful cutting that thing open. If it's able to spit fire, imagine what kind of napalmish stuff would fly in all directions. Okay. Ooh, Catfly, you got ripped to pieces. I feel almost sorry for you. Okay, we've clearly missed the town. 
un momento. See right up there, just kind of above the quill of the feather? Yeah, there is, uh, there is a little marker there, and there it is. There's the town. Let's check this place out. And this place is very different depending whether you come here during the day or the night. It's quite the place. <laughs> I don't know. It all depends on your point of view. I guess as a woman, I guess I'd find that annoying. Ooh, bug powder. Not sure what that's for. It may just damage insect foes. Too bad we don't have a dream rod in this game. Oh, well. Um, no? Kingdom named Isis. Interesting. We'll have to check that out. Oh, okay. There's our answer. Cool. However, the item shop is closed at night, as is the armor here. So, let's try this place. Hey, he's open. What do you got for sale, friendo? A knife which sucks, a sickle which is no good, a spear which is not really that good either. Be good for fate, though. And an iron axe would be really good for uh, a few people. May have to get one of those for Brad. I just upgraded uh, Bryn to the steel sword, though, so we're not going to do that. That would just be silly. Oh, look at that. There's one of those gray doors, but we can't get in there. But we did hear about a magic key, if you recall. Maybe that's what opens those. Oh, a church. Well, that's good to know about. But nothing to do with that for now. Hey, lady. Yeah, they are, actually. I'm glad you think call me your sister and all, even though we really have nothing to do with one another. Hey, you. Um, did you just call me a lesbian? Well, I'm going to steal your token because you were rude and just assumed my sexuality. Just because I'm big and strong doesn't mean I'm a lesbo. Jeez. Not cool, man. Not cool. What's this say? Okay. This is the best part? Fweet? Hey, you. Oh, no. I want to talk to the dancer. <laughs> You're Vivian. Good for you. I've totally screwed them up. Alright. Uh, I'm good. So it's a town full of debauched people, needless to say. But that's all for the, the night time. And now for the daytime. Let's see who's around. Hey, you. You're different. Ah, oh, thanks. Will do. Hey, man. Wow. That man sounds really strong. <laughs> no, I don't believe that you've heard this. Screw that. Oh, good to know. So let's check out what's going on in these shops. An item shop. Anything in particular in your shop? No, nothing much. How about you? Oh, look at that. I got a few things for sale here. Mostly stuff we've seen, though, but a good little fur hat there that can be used by a couple people. Not a bad thing to get, although why they would sell a fur hat in the desert, I'm not sure. But, you know, we'll have to pick up some equipment before we head out of town. Now, this guy's closed. Ooh, good advice. So we'll have to go along the... Uh, Hey, man. Ah, my friend, I've been waiting. Will you view my wares? Wow. Look at that. An iron axe. Oh, that would be a great spear for fate. Ah, you have a discerning eye, my friend. It's 36,800 gold. You will buy, yes? <laughs> no. Ah, you drive a hard bargain. I am defeated. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> But you are my friend. No. <laughs> you want me to kill myself? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, um, that price is still double what the item is worth. So, but you can't get those items, uh... 
you can't get that item, uh, jeez, I'm losing my train of thought here. You cannot get that item until later, but it's half that price when you find it later, so. And another one, who is offering items and a gold necklace, so. Yeah, we're not really into that. Hey, you. <laughs> wow, that was a pretty tough practice schedule. Oh, you just wandered over from the other entrance, or the entrance. Well, I think that's going to be a good spot to stop now that we've seen Ashalam, but I'll, fi I'll just leave you with this one little story. Dragon Warrior 3 for the NES. This town wasn't called Ashalam. No, it got uh, translated away from Ashalam, what it should have been, and it became instead Asaram. <laughs>